Captain America Civil War is directed by Anthony and Joe Russo and stars Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr. and a shitload of other people that we all know and love. Now this film marks the third Captain America film. It also takes place after Winter Soldier and the events after Avengers Age of Ultron. Now the movie itself is of course based off the Civil War storyline. For those who aren't familiar with the Civil War storyline, it has gotten to a point where the governing bodies of all the countries around the world and society have realized that the Avengers are more of a threat than saviors. So much so that they propose to the Avengers they are no longer a private organization, they will answer to the governing bodies of whoever country they need to defend. Now before I go any further, this is a spoiler free review, I just want you to keep that in mind. This is a general overview of the movie, a general plot synopsis and whatnot, a general idea of what the movie's about and what to expect. So getting back to the basic premise of the film, it then divides the Avengers as you see and then we have a civil war. Now first off, when I saw Captain America the Winter Soldier, I was blown away. It was an espionage movie, it was a political thriller, and it was a comic book movie. The Russo brothers nailed the tone of all three of those points. With Captain America Civil War, they have done that and so much more. Guys, this is a brilliantly crafted film. Could Batman v Superman learn some stuff from this movie? Absolutely. And just like The Winter Soldier, this is a political thriller. You have two parties that are divided on one notion. And it totally makes sense, the build up to the fight, that massive fight scene that we see at the airport. It's not just a standard fight, let's just bare knuckle brawl it. There is a reason for these two parties going at it. The writers and the Russo brothers have very cleverly made it so you will go back and forth between sides so eventually right at the fight you will decide which side you are on. As for me, it was Iron Man. <laughs> and then it went back to Cap and Iron Man. And Cap and Iron Man and Cap and Iron Man. It leaves you divided, but at the same time, you kind of secretly have your side. So it was, it was Iron Man. So I'm trying to choose my words very carefully. I'm not getting into spoiler territory. Like I said, it's just a general overview and a general idea of the story and what to expect going into this film. But guys, I can clearly say that Captain America Civil War is a stand above all the Marvel films. It is up the ante. It is an amazing time at the movies. The visual effects were seamless. They blended in so well with the practical effects. And with that being said, I want to talk about Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Now, I know a lot of people are very protective at the moment. They don't want to know anything. But all I can say and will say is this. He has the perfect amount of screen time. Tom Holland is an amazing actor. The kid is a natural as Peter Parker in Spider-Man. This incarnation of Spider-Man is like my bat fleck. This is the Spider-Man I've wanted to see on screen my whole life. Just like Ben Affleck's Batman was the Batman I wanted to see on screen my whole life. I'm looking very forward to Spider-Man Homecoming. This was just a mere taste of what we're going to expect from Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So I tip my hat to the kid. He had a lot of pressure riding on him and he fucking nailed it. So that's all I'm saying about Spidey, but all right. Now, of course, being an action movie, comic book movie, you got to have a bad guy. To me, the bad guy was shoehorned into this. I've heard a lot of people say that. I agree. But towards the end of the film, you kind of see his motives and why he's got to do that. At first, you're like, you're like, dude, why are you even here? Then by the end of it, you're like, ah, okay, I see. Look, good for you, man. Good for you. You go get the good guys because you're a bad guy. But to me, the bad guy is whichever team you're against, whether it be Cap or Iron Man. The action scenes in these are absolutely amazing to look at. How they did some of those stunts, I have no idea. The airport fight scene was just a whole new level of what the fuck. Think of it this way. It's just like a graph that just gradually gets more awesome, more awesome to you get to the point where you're like, what the fuck is going on? Really awesome. And the comedy, the Marvel comedy is something that they have been renowned for and this is just a step up. It's not blatantly thrown in your face. Little jokes start off and by the end of it, you're pissing yourself laughing and then the next minute, you're going back to heavy material, which I like. They go back and forth. So by the end of it, you're exhausted mentally. The story is well paced from a narrative point of view. It totally makes sense. It flowed well. Towards the end, there are going to be some gasps and <gasps> in the audience when certain things are found out. Um, again, spoiler free, ain't saying shit. And it kind of tugged at the heartstrings, and I'm not going to lie, I welled up in this film a couple of times. It was quite heavy, quite tragic, but at the same time, it needed to be in this story because it just had that much more of an effect on these characters and also the audience. Me! Now before I wrap up this review, the introduction of new characters in this film. We've got Black Panther, we've got Crossbones, of course, we've got Spider-Man. We have the return of Ant-Man, Paul Rudd's Ant-Man, he's fantastic in it. And it's not as if they're all shoehorned into scenes so we can set up this epic battle at the airport. 
The dialogue when they're introduced flows well, they make sense for having a reason to be in this film. Which was a relief, because I'm not going to lie, at first I was afraid it would be like that and it just comes off as really cheesy when you just shoehorn a bunch of characters in. But honestly, I think the Russo brothers have looked at films like Spider-Man 3 and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I know both Spider-Man films, but they just shoehorn the shit out of characters. We all know that, so they've probably looked at that and gone, that's not how to do it. Let's do it differently. And they did. So guys, overall, Captain America Civil War is an amazing political drama. It's an espionage film. It's an amazing comic book movie. Visually stunning. The sound effects are amazing. All the actors bring their A-game to the table. The actors portraying their characters have settled in and are comfortable in their own skin of their characters. They look like they're having a ball. It's a great time at the movies, guys. Take your friends. Take your friends who are comic book nerds who are going to love this film because, my God, you are going to have so much shit to talk about afterwards. It is not funny. So with that, I'm giving Captain America Civil War five geeks out of five. So guys, when you have seen Captain America Civil War, please drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear what you think of the newly introduced characters like Black Panther, Crossbones. I want to know what you guys think of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. As always, thank you very much for your continuing support and watching. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.